The quantum mechanical model explains a lot about the periodic table and about what elements do. The chemical properties of elements are largely determined by the number of valence electrons that each of those atoms has. We observe that element properties vary in a periodic fashion. That's because the number of valence electrons is periodic. This explains the reactivity of hydrogen, the inertness of helium, many other things. Let's look at some of these different groups. Atoms with eight valence electrons, or two for helium, are extra special. They're, they're more stable. They're lower in energy. So all of these guys have a full valence shell. They don't react much because they're in a really, really good place. What we observe is that the elements that are close to but not in group 8A are extremely reactive because if they just do a little bit, then they become like these. So I'm going to throw a different analogy in here just to make things muddy. I think of these noble gases as being like those kids that were in the in group in, in high school, you know, the popular kids. I wasn't one of those. I was a nerd even in high school. But I, I watched these people. There's a lot of people that want to get into that group, right? And we think that if you get into that group, your life is going to be awesome. It's not true. But that's what we think, right? One of the things that people do to get into the in-group is they dress like the people in the in-group, right? If I make myself look like one of the popular people, then maybe I can kind of get in there and people won't notice that I'm squeezing into their social group. So these are the popular elements, and all the elements, other elements, are reacting to become like them. The electrons are what's on the outside of the atom. They're kind of like the electrons' clothing and hairstyle. You can change that stuff. You can't change who you are, but you can change what you look like to a certain extent. So elements do that. Now, the scientific explanation, though, is that this is a stable, low-energy situation. And just like rolling a ball down a hill, it always rolls to the bottom of the hill because that's lower in energy, and everything tends towards low energy. And so that's what's really going on. But that's not nearly as fun to talk about. So if we look at the group 1A metals, the alkali metals, these all have one valence electron. If sodium loses one electron, then it has the same number of electrons as neon. It has the same electron configuration as neon. For all of these elements, if they lose one electron, they get a noble gas electron configuration. That is more stable than what they have. It's lower in energy. So these guys are very reactive. They're very happy to ditch an electron. It's like, my mom made me wear this ugly sweater to school. I'm going to get rid of it as fast as I can so I can look like one of the cool kids. All of these elements form plus one ions. And they do so because when they form a plus one ion, they get a noble gas electron configuration, and they're more stable that way. If we look at the group 2A metals, we learned, just as sort of a rule, that all of these form plus two ions. Well, if magnesium loses two electrons, it has the same electron configuration as neon. For all of these, if they lose two electrons, they get a noble gas electron configuration. Noble gas electron configuration is very stable. And so they will easily react in such a way that they lose two electrons, they become a plus two ion, and then they become a little more stable that way. Does that make sense? All of these atoms are trying to get a noble gas electron configuration. The halogens. Halogens are on the other side. The halogens are one electron short. What do they need to do to get an electron configuration like a noble gas? They could lose seven, or they could gain one, which is easier. Gain one. Gain one. These guys all form negative one ions. That means they gain one electron. If they gain one electron, they can have a noble gas electron configuration. So they are also very reactive. Does that make sense? 
the predictable ions that we see on the periodic table. Remember I told you about counting backwards to remember these? 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. There's a reason for that. It's not just some weird thing that I figured out. This is a stable electron configuration. These are less stable. If this gains an electron, it essentially moves into the next box in terms of electrons. The number of protons doesn't change. When fluorine gains an electron, it does not become neon. Its electron structure is like neon, but its nucleus is still fluorine. For oxygen to become like a noble gas, it has to gain two electrons. Nitrogen has to gain three. These guys lose one. These guys lose two. These guys lose three. The guys in the middle, they're just not as predictable. Any questions? Yeah, we're going to run out of time. Periodic trends.